Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'd like to talk about the C64 motherboard project that I'm doing. And uh, I would also like to mention about uh, the KaiCat 7 version, which as you have seen in other videos, I've been using uh, image background, which, is, which hasn't come into the KaiCat 6 yet, which is only in the uh, nightly version. So um, they are planning to do KaiCat 7 uh, in recent times now. So maybe the end of January, where it's very hopeful, but that's what I saw. So if you can see here, this is development highlights of the December of the edition features coming to Kraket 7. And then uh, I think further down here, here you can see the features that I have been using. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So you can mark groups in your schematic and then you can move the all those groups in the layout afterwards like this. I thought that was really cool. <laughs> so, so yeah, so about the end of uh, January, I think this will be possible. I also would like to mention that I have a new camera, which I'm filming with now. It's the Canon G7X. It's a 4K camera. I'm currently filming in just HD, normal HD, 1080p. Here's my old camera. And this is my new one. And it's a Canon G7X, so I'm really happy to have that one. It's about the same size. You can see the function keys are almost in the same place. There it goes. So yeah, and on the top it's also a bit similar with the on-off and the shutter and focusing. Sorry, the zoom. It's also in the same place, almost. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, the nice thing about this one is it has uh, like an uh, exposure offset thing, which is nice. So now I'm having an on-camera manual. Turn this one, I think. So yeah, there you go. You can see it. This is called stopping down. <laughs> You can see, so that's what's called stopping though. Also another nice thing about this one is it has a microphone input, but I haven't tested that yet. We will get to that soon. Yeah, so let's get to it. So let's have a look at KaiCat and um, let's see the progress of it. So I'm not sure what I did in the previous video right now, but uh, this is the state of the schematic. Uh, it's pretty much done. Uh, we need some... Uh, on the right side here, we need some more descriptions. Uh, we have connected everything. That's also one thing I want to talk about is the color RAM. I am on the version four of the schemat of the board. I wasn't sure with the schematic what was correct or not because it's really badly documented uh, which version of the schematic there is. And I think maybe someone in the comments can tell me if a super PLA can be used on a board that has a schematic that doesn't have the PLA externally or something. But what I did see is that there was a board that was a revision B, which is the latest one. I didn't know that actually revision four was not the latest one. <laughs> there's an A and there's a B and the B is the latest one. I think if it's not a B and E or something, but the latest one uh, also has this color RAM as a footprint. So that means that it's supposed to be in the schematic as well. You we should say just uh, not connected. But I found also out that uh, this uh, uh, PLA has two different numbers. So this one is a 251.715. This one needs an external PLA, but the other one doesn't. So. Anyway, too confusing. <laughs> Let's get on with it. So yeah, so what have I been doing? Well, I've been doing the layout. So let's have a look. Look, it's almost done. I'm going to turn off the uh, bottom layer, just the top layer here. So, so the top layer is almost done. The bottom layer is, 
yeah it's not much you have a few ones over here and some over there and one over there so that's about it so that's what's next up so yeah so get back to the front layer again yeah so i've been doing all the fill layers that i think that's what's new actually um we can see all the fill layers that go over here I've done them in sections and if I do it in sections it's easier so I just overlap I think you can see some overlapping here so the next one is just overlapping the previous one like this because that's easier than doing a one full net that's what I've been doing as you can see I'm pretty much done so what's left well there's some components I need to place like RP6 over here and some other ones and uh, maybe you in the comments can tell me why there's it seems to be diode arrays there's four of them one two three and four and it's on the keyboard connector I have no idea <laughs> why they are there I can't find them in the schematic so no idea <laughs> but uh, maybe you know so so the next thing I need to do is to yeah I need to pull off the mask but we have uh, zones like here around the screw holes and we need some more and uh, yeah so that will be the next I think and you can see there's a variable capacitor that's missing around the crystal so need to add that. I need to add that as well but the uh, joystick ports are there the button, the power input, the shock or coil. You can have a look at the coil, it's quite funny actually. <laughs> I was drawing it like this. Um, what you can see, there was two protective earth connection here, but it wasn't in the schematics. So what I did, I just uh, drew the component here like this and I added a protective earth connection down here two of those actually there you go so now it's uh, earthed <laughs> but yeah uh, some free freedom I've used in this schematic and um, right so this is the readme it's uh, initial readme for the uh, github page if you like to see the schematic already you can go to github.com uh, BWAC and uh, I don't remember the exact repository in my head so I will have to just go to repositories the KiCad replica for 250.469 I do have uh, the third one here now so <laughs> you have to pick the correct one so this is all I'm sharing for now so if you want to look at the schematic the, the latest one you can go in here it's updated four days ago I will update it today as well and um, you can download it and you will get a PDF file that you can zoom in however you like so so all the difference that I find uh, I put in here like the last one was uh, crystal Y1 in the schematic doesn't show in the shield grounding and its connection you have shielding around here so so this component it needs a connection to shield so if I show you you can see that there shouldn't be any mask there it should be able to rest on top of a ground plane yeah there you can see so in the dramatic you can see there I have uh, also put a dashed line box around here like I did with the power switch and uh, I added ground, so yeah.
things I've noticed in the uh, layout is that uh, little things like this. If you go up here, you see, okay, a ground it looks like a uh, octopus. <laughs> Having like little lines going out, so you have ground going between uh, some signals. And there seems to be some kind of shielding, uh, capacitively shielding between the wires that are going very close together. On the other side of the board, some of this wire, especially around the video port. Um, let's see if we can find the video port. You see this one? It's not going anywhere, it's ground. And you also have this one. I think I've started drawing that one actually because I have a few lines of going up there. Yeah. And this one. And I think the reason behind that is because it needs some kind of shielding or something. I have one over there also. It was a bit funny to see that the first time. I wasn't aware they were using something like that. So um, maybe I should show you something before I go. So Happy New Year to everyone that didn't see my last video and uh, uh, please go ahead and see my <laughs> other videos as well. I have uh, uploaded those. I have a playlist of those and uh, you can uh, watch all my videos from the KU Modern War, the 25407. Yeah, I think I think I will uh, do this off camera. So this time. So this is just a little update. So as you can see, as far as I have come, I need some sleep as well. Uh, I don't mean now, of course, but uh, I mean, when I get off home from work, I usually start to work on this and uh, start to disrupt my sleeping pattern. And uh, I, uh, my mind is still drawing lines when I sleep. It's like <sighs> your mind is still working. So you have to <laughs> Try to balancing. You have to balance it a little bit so it doesn't get out of hand. So, and this doesn't have to be finished tomorrow. Like it can be finished uh, soon. So, but as you can see, there's a fast uh, progress here. So there's no risk of me jumping to something else, <laughs> which is uh, often happening, and then everything will go stale again. So. Yeah, so I'm really confident about this and also the idea that we are going to get KiCat 7 is really nice because um, then this feature is going to be in there and then I can transfer all this project into KiCat 7 project and we have a stable version. <laughs> that's the goal here. So, okay. So I think that's all I wanted to say for this time. So thank you very much for watching. See you another time. Bye-bye.